Welcome to Ghent. Dear Professor Bannister, dear David, dear BIVEC members, dear colleagues, dear students. BIVEC welcomes you to this um, third and final lecture of um, the BIVEC GB chair. So in a series of three linked lectures related to the sustainable mobility paradigm, Professor Bannister will today bring these two teams, the first and the second one that were the opening lecture which were held at the VUB on October 15th, and some of you were there. And the second lecture which, which was held on February 1st, it was at the Free uh, University of Amsterdam, that they, these two topics will now be brought together in order to have as topic, as you can see the title, the future of sustainable mobility. And the question is, is it the future of sustainable mobility question mark, or will it be with the uh, explanation mark, or whatever? Well, this is what we will find out today from Professor Benson. The previous uh, lectures were also recorded, as we will record this one, and if you want to follow up on these, you can find them through the BIVIC website. And it's rather easy to understand, or to find it, www, and then BIVIC, and then .eu. There you can find the two other lectures. Now that sustainable mobility is a very um, important issue, highly debated and very topical, I think also illustrates that if you read today's newspaper in the Morgen or the Standard, you will notice there it says traffic is a greater pollutant than industry. So it's highly relevant to see whether this is the case and how can we change this and how can we interpret this. Now before we start, I should briefly explain what DIVIC stands for and what we are as an organization. And we try to promote everything which has to do with transport, transport education, transport research in various topics, going from traffic engineering to urban planning to sustainable development. There should be a link, obviously, to transport and logistics, and that's the basic aim of DIVIC. Uh, the organization already has a tradition of almost 30 years in doing this. And um, today, let's say there are a couple of topics on which we highly focus. The first is the so-called Transport Research Days. They are organized annu biannually. The next uh, conference will be held in Luxembourg in May. But they have been previously uh, also organized in Mons, in Brussels, in Rotterdam and the first one was in Hasselt. There is also the joint BVEC Benelux Policy Day, where we have the cooperation with the people from the Benelux Economic Union, the Benelux Union, and as Lane van der Berg is here, you might know this because he was previously the head of the Benelux Economic Union, or at least part of it, let's say. And there we have focused on cross-border mobility, on traffic issues, so there is a, let's say, in the evening, in the, in the first in the morning, I should say, there are academics relating to this topic, and in the, in the afternoon we have the policy makers, and we try to bring these two together. We also award the so-called BIVEC PhD award, which is a prize, an award of 2,500 euros, for the best PhD being produced in the Benelux, at the Benelux University, or which is the topic, the Benelux. There are one-day seminars, which we also organize. One we did on eco-zoning, uh, it was organized by Seth Gross and Leuven. And then, as today, we have this um, specific transport chair. Now, this chair was, um, the first chair was um, for 2012-2013. And the idea of this chair is to award this to an individual, which we think has very much contributed to the scientific field, either in terms of scientific or also and or social merits, relating to transport and to mobility within Europe. And the board decided that this first chair should be awarded to Professor David Bannister from the University of Oxford. Now, to briefly introduce Professor Bannister, he is Professor of Transport Studies and the Director of the Transport Studies Unit at Oxford University the School of Geography and the Environment. He has an, uh, an established international reputation in transport research, in particular in contributing to the social sciences and how that they can advance our thinking in transport. He has conducted many topics, research published, and is an authority 
the speaker at international conferences. I think over the last 20, 25 years, he has built up an international reputation as one of the leading UK researchers in transport and in planning analysis and studies. He has held previous positions in Vienna, in Sydney, in Amsterdam, in London, and now he's here in Ghent. So we are very happy with this. He's also the editor of Transport Reviews, which is a really important uh, leading journal, and he's a joint editor of Build and Find. So I am very happy to give the floor over to David. The idea is that we have an introductory talk about an hour or so, then we perhaps take a very short break for those of you who have to go to the toilet. And then we obviously also would like to do some Q&A. And the basic idea is to end, let's say, 3.30, 3.45. And then you are all invited to something really special because we have organized for you a meal, so-called four o'clock tea, which means that we also have drinks. Not only tea, but amongst it, tea. <laughs> 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 I, I thought it was going to be an English tea, no, in which you would get the tea and the scones and everything else, but no alcohol. <laughs> so maybe the Dutch version, I mean the Belgian version of that is uh, something. Um, 